You're about as agile as a doorknob. Shut up. Hey, what's up YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Power Rangers Samurai Megazord. So here we are, and there they are. Now, I will say right off the bat, I have not watched this show. I know nothing of this show, I know nothing of these Zords, I don't know anything about how these new Rangers came about, I know nothing about nothing about this series. But you know who does? B.R. Christopher, who is my main man for Power Rangers reviews, you should definitely check him out. And uh, give him a sub. He does good reviews, and he knows what he's talking about. Unlike me, he definitely knows what he's talking about when it comes to Power Rangers. But on with the review. We'll take a quick look at the box. You can see here there is a uh, character there that I have no idea what it says. And you have your product shots here. You have the Red Ranger with my thumb in his face. You got the other Rangers. You have your obligatory product shots and whatnot, and more stuff, and more stuff, and more stuff, and more stuff, and that's basically it. So now I will use my Samurai speed to make this box disappear. Samurai! Damn, I'm good. Anyway, moving on now. Now we'll take a look at the individual Zords here. Uh, I guess first we'll start off with this guy. The Green Bear Zord. Which, you know, uh, Zords, for the most part, aren't the most spectacular-looking things I've ever seen. But, I mean, they, they get across what they need to get across. They have a little symbol right there, molded in. It's not bad, he's got the red eyes. Pretty cool. Um, Articulation-wise, I mean, you can move his head up and down. You can open up his little mouth there. His legs can go in and out, and that's pretty much it. You can kind of have him doing the, uh... You know, I'm a bearskin wrong. I don't know. That's basically it for the bear zord. There's your bear zord. Um, next up, definitely the most fierce and dangerous of them all, the turtle zord. That's right. We have a turtle in our midst. Big pink symbol right there. Pink eyes, black head. And that's pretty much it. Articulation, little flippers here can flip up and down. Got the little molded symbol right there. And that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a turtle. Turtle, turtle. One cool thing, though, if you really want, you can kind of take this, kind of close them all up. Flip these in, and now you have a hockey puck. It's the hockey puck mode. I don't know. <laughs> I guess they figured they covered all the animals they they could already. Okay, we'll, we'll use a turtle, why not? So there you go. There's your turtle zord. And then here you have the dragon zord. I know. I know. There's only one dragon zord, but unfortunately, yeah, they, they gave us another one. So here's the dragon zord. And it's, you know, definitely modeled after a more, uh, a more classic style dragon. Um, articulation. Head can move up and down. Open his mouth, and that's pretty much it. Um, he has a long tail, which is basically the Megazord's sword, and that's pretty much all you can do with that guy. So, there is your blue, not green, Dragon Zord. And then you have the Ape Zord, and this thing is kind of cute, yet kind of creepy because of the red eyes. I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> I really don't. But again, has a little molded symbol right there in the arm. Um, again, not much to it. Simple, basic articulation. His arms can do a 360 that can go in and out. Ooga booga, ooga booga. And uh, that's it. Basically, the arms need to be in this position because it's the only way he'll stand. Um, if you try to have the arms any other way, he'll just... Ah! <laughs> I'm coming! Ah! That, yeah, he'll just face plant. And that's... Pretty much it. And then you have the leader, the red lion zord. I I really don't know what to think of this. I mean, this doesn't look like any lion I've ever seen in my life. I'm used to my lions looking like 
lions. I don't know. Call me old fashioned. I, I I don't know, but hey, whatever you want to call a lion's word, it's 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 a lion, sure. You say it's a lion, it's a lion. He has a big red symbol right there. Um, articulation. I mean, the, the front legs can move, but it's pretty pointless. These arms can go in and out, but again, basically pointless. Can move his head. You can open and close his mouth. Num 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 num. And that's pretty much it for the lion's sword. Rawr. This looks more like a turtle than that does. This is like a snapping turtle almost. Huh. <laughs> I just figured that out on my own. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I guess the only thing left to do now is to go to Megazord mode. There is no intermediate mode, which kind of disappoints me. I'm used to, you know, the old, the, the Dino Megazord having that intermediate, like, tank mode, and uh, other Megazords have had intermediate modes. It's, it's kind of a shame that this one doesn't have that intermediate mode. It just goes straight from the individual modes to Megazord mode, but, eh! Whatever, let's just get down to it. You take your Bearzord, take the head, raise it up, it'll lock into place. Take the feet. Flip them up, flip them up, flip them up, and you have a foot. And each foot is angled. They are at an angle, so basically you know which leg is supposed to go on which side. So you have your one leg. Then you take your dragon sword. You pull the sword out of its ass. Look at that. Then there's a little gray button right here. When you push this little gray button, it'll release the helmet for the Megazord. Right there, it just stores right here in this little clip right there. And with the Dragon Zord, you just take it, flip that up, and lock it in place, fold them in half, lock in place, and there's your other leg. Booyah. Booyah. Booyah! No, oh, whatever. Then you take your Turtle Zord, split it in half, like so, flip up the flippers, flip the head in, take this section right here, rotate it. And there you have an arm, right there. And you take your ape sword, you raise his hands over his, oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. You bring his arms all the way down, straight down, and then bring them up over his head like that. That's what you do. I just remembered. And there you have your other arm right there. And you take your lion sword, you flip up his legs right here, and you see his little post there. It's going to tab inside a clip right there. Snap it in, snap it in, take these legs, just raise them up, take this whole section, bring it down, like so, Then we'll, ah, we'll save that for last. So now you just take your legs, slam them in there, raise the camera, because he's getting tall now, take the arms, snap it in, snap that in, and now you come over here, you flip up this panel, and you have the head. Which I actually do kind of like this head. I, I do like the head sculpt. It actually looks... It looks better without the helmet, personally. But, take the helmet, and you slip this little thing up. And just take it... Clip it over his head. And there you have it. There you have the Samurai Megazord in all its glory. You can take the big sword here, plug it into his hand. You can hold it in either hand if you want. And if you don't want him holding the sword, you do have a way to store it in robot mode. Basically, you just take it and you just kind of wedge it in between this uh, this hip armor. You just take it, place it in there, and there's your storage. If you don't want him actually holding his sword, but damn it, I want him holding his sword. And he's going to hold it. So that's basically it. Um, now articulation in Megazord mode, not much. You get arm movement. And that's basically it. There's no knee movement. Uh, you can you can rotate the legs from... You can, you can rotate the legs, but it doesn't serve much purpose. And actually really throws them off balance when you do that. It just doesn't work. So Basically, you keep his legs straight. Keep his arms slightly up. It's a Megazord, and pretty much they're known for having next to no articulation, so don't be too disappointed if your Megazord can't get in any dynamic poses, because, yeah, it's not going to happen. But there it is. Now, 
For comparison, I will use my Samurai Speed to bring in this size of comparison. Samurai! Told you I'm good. So there he is next to the reissue Dino Megazord. You can see they're basically the same size. Not that much difference in height. I think maybe the Dino Megazord is a slight bit taller at the head, but not by much. So, he is definitely a decent sized Megazord. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I do like the combined mode. That's pretty much what I bought it for. I think it does look pretty badass. And there are other Zords you can buy. There, there are smaller Zords you can buy that you can actually combine uh, with the Megazord and get other uh, combinations going. And I don't know if I'll get them, but... I still think it looks pretty cool, so... I would say pick it up. If you're a, a Power Rangers fan... Rawr! If you're a Power Rangers fan, you should definitely pick this up. It's cool. Um, again, I haven't seen the new show, but I probably will, eventually, at some point. I'll, I'll get around to watching it, just to see what this is all about. But, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Pick it up. It's only, I think, like tw uh, not 20 bucks, 30 bucks, I think, which is a good price for a Megazord. Why not? Why not so I think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the Power Rangers Samurai Megazord and this is Emgo saying my throat's starting to hurt from saying Samurai ow okay so what's your deal I am Samurai what do you do